In this presentation, we will take a look at equivalent units of production using a weighted average method. We're gonna calculate this within Excel. This is gonna be our data down below. We have the given data in terms of units, and then we got the percent completed for materials and percent completed for the conversion. Remember that the conversion consists of those things to change the material to the finished goods. That includes the direct labor and the factory overhead. We've got the work in process for June uh, 1st. We're talking about a particular department here. So we're calculating for a particular department processing this department. Units started into production in June for this time period, June, the month of June. Units completed and transferred out of department A during, the, during June. So we're gonna say this is the amount of units that we took out. And then we've got work in process for uh, June 30th. So notice what we're talking here are in terms of units. So we have units that we're talking about and we need to determine the, the units that are involved so that we can use those as well to apply out the dollar amounts that will be involved. When we look at the financial accounting, of course, we're gonna be talking about dollars. We're gonna use units and equivalent units to help us to apply out the dollar amount to the portion that is still in our department, the stuff that's still in ending uh, work in process and the stuff that has been completed and has been